Namaskaram everyone, Dehatians, greetings from the hard ones again. So this is Dil Ki Baat again. Hope all of you had a very pleasant weekend. I also hope that our friends celebrating Ramadan had a blessed time in spite of the peculiar and constraining circumstances under which the feast had to be celebrated. A belated Eid Mubarak to all of you. I had very specially remembered all of you in my prayers on this occasion. May the Almighty guide us in the right path. Now, the official email ID of the principal was choked to some extent with around 300 plus mails from students of various classes coming in with the same demand of exam postponement, citing the very same reasons. So that is Dilki Baat. I understand that this is a one-way traffic. You are not able to speak to me, but you were able to improvise and uh, make your feelings known, your Dilki Baat known to me by this. I am sure that in no time if this continues, you would be able to raise it to two or three thousand emails or full strength of a college. I appreciate the interest, the drafting skills, the organizational capacities in spite of the lockdown and the unity shown by the senders. I hope that such unity be sustained in all matters concerning our SH community. To begin with, in learning, in creative activities, in extending our learning to nation-building activities for self-reliance like Subhiksha Keralam, in helping those in need around us and making our localities and premises a better place, and not only in intimidating principal and the authorities. Why I say this is the strategy is good, but these are kind of wartime strategy. Yes, we all say that we are at war. But not at war with each other, not at war with students and teachers, students and principal, but rather we are all at war with Corona. And let us make the collective and most committed effort to overcome that. I am happy to learn that so many of you have been able to access web and managed to send a mail to the principal. But the ideal first step in such occasions as Hardians would be to get in touch with your mentor or class teacher. I hope that everyone has one. Instead of getting to the principal, as it will make it unwieldy and with no possibility of paying attention to. At the institutional level, we had not been sitting idle. While going along with the university line and the government stand, we were trying to schedule the exams, but we were also simultaneously making efforts to assess the problems of individual students through their mentors and also checking our database regarding the locations of our students. Regarding travel related difficulties some of you have raised, we are trying to make efforts to create a district level arrangement to the extent possible so that so the students from districts other than Ernakulam may not have to travel to the campus and if the effort is successful we will let you know and you would be advised to travel to the district center and appear for the examination and return home and not come to the campus. We should also bear in mind that this is happening with much smaller kids of 10th and 12th standards. So let us grow bigger. We had already made arrangements with the hostel authorities. That is another concern regarding accommodation for those who are already inmates. And as such, there would not be any unaffordable pricing, if any, for such short stay. The hostel authorities who are linked to the college 
had all promised to cooperate with the college decisions and accommodate the students with restrictions related to social distance and interaction and other COVID protocol. Where there is some constrained alternative arrangements for food were also done at the college canteen with a provision for purchasing using one's own lunch box. We are also revising the schedule in such a way that the exams can be held without the usual gap so that there will be minimum time for completing the exams, both for the students and for the people who are involved in the exam management. They may have to travel to various districts and stay over. From reliable sources, it is learned that if the exams will not be held now, it is likely to go on indefinitely and that may affect the passing out batch as their results are likely to be affected. As already indicated last week, as per the government guidelines, flipped classrooms and blended learning are to be the realities apart from the exams. So officially our academic sessions will start on June 1st itself but online. It is not easy to ensure that it will be all set by June 1st. There may be many problems we will have to solve in this process. So the students and parents are also advised to prepare themselves for this new phase in learning. I request all of you to attend the session being given by Dr. Murli Tumarukudi on our SH Vision channel. Please subscribe to that regarding the pre preparation for such a learning, how we can prepare for online learning. This will happen on the 27th morning at 10.30 a.m. Please do join. Dear young friends, this is a testing time when we have to collectively overcome the crisis we are facing, trying to live the life in spite of the constraints. I would like to share with you that last two and a half months, the principal's office has not been closed. Almost every day, other than the prescribed holidays, it had been working. I request your fullest collaboration, taking into account these aspects. As the Christian community is celebrating the Feast of Pentecost next Sunday, what is recalled is the enlightening and energizing experience of the disciples of Jesus with the Spirit of Jesus. Similarly, may all of us be infused with a hearty and spirit of enlightenment and energy to overcome the constraints and make things happen in spite of the constraints. As Kipling says, if you can force your heart's nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone, when there is nothing in you except the will that says to them, go on. Let us possess that kind of a will to overcome and we shall overcome. Wish you the very best. Thank you. Mm -hmm.